all right but this is just uh just a um, I'm just gonna stress you a fact in respect to the video here you see father goes about damage hearing aid once I offer to insert one in here during visit to home for elderly people um, how much is this just 25 percent I don't know but that's a uh, very short video at the same time it appears to be large because i wanted to record this with a quality camera the other camera software it's not doing it this with as precision as this camera but it comes with expense due to the number of frames i think it does per minute per second excuse me This is a monthly This is right now for the month of July And that's what I was told on that MK Ultra is gonna be and this is what my father is gonna look like I'm not gonna go and imitate that stuff, but you can go See in case you have not seen the video yet You can do it yourself. My father was a professional By some people he was knowledge as a hypochonder, that's one of the things. Because he stored large amount of pills in uh, drawers inside of the kitchen and that would exceed probably a, a big ass box like it wasn't about storing pills at all actually that was not a problem the problem was the consumption of the pills uh, and his demands at physicians where he demanded pills even that those would not be really would not come as a something that physician would want to prescribe one he got his pills no matter what and it was incredible that he would just go and just the, num the number of pills every day day after day it was just totally incredible and so then Ajim is a hippohonder uh, Germans Americans physicians from all over throughout the world gathered here that was before I left to the US and they started to study one from up close closely they come to realize that he's a hippohonda really that he was just taking those pills because for one known reason because whatever he felt you could give him placebo and I think it will work just fine and um, once the atmosphere changed with physicians on the picture from all over the place he didn't have a choice but to normalize himself it was very difficult for him during an MKO procedure because he had his own ways but I think they got him inside of the psychiatric hospital will be on a polio on one or two occasions too shortly but for duration that it appears to me that that did made enough impact on him to adopt to um not necessary even good stuff because i don't think that this is this this whole thing that this is normal it would have been normal that person when one would meet me under this kind of circumstances whether that be mother or father would talk to me about those things so i think that next to 
normalizing him in many ways, it also caused tremendous damage, psychological damage to one. Uh, compliance, a need for compliance and so on. Not that, that I'm saying that this is, this is, or that this should be a reason of any kind for the stuff. He did, he conceived, uh, and he continued to, to engage in. Um, today, on my way to him, I talked to myself and I come to realize that I wasn't sure whether, what, what exactly was worse in respect to him. Uh, his lies or the stuff that he concealed, 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 that declined to speak about, declined to admit, confess himself. Father, since I was a child, was if it would have been something related to the food, he had a habit to, or asthma, or um, bronchitis, those are really bad diseases, uh, but I think that he added special extra to those, claimed that he is uh, choking to death he had bronchitis, asthma, really bad. Uh, but the thing is that he was worsening, I think, his health condition through pressing himself extra. So I think that he opened the wounds worse uh, than what otherwise case would be. Um, during medical emergencies, he alone would signal me that sometimes he was doing stuff. He would receive medical emergencies at home so that he could be taken to hospital and taken care of. He felt good about going to hospital, having a medical attention. I will not forget the day when he was, he ate something that I had no idea uh, what made him sick because I ate the same thing. It was a fish brudet. Um, that's just a soup made out of several different fishes we caught right here in the Kirka River. I'm not saying it's possible they did something to him. They, they might have thrown him something in the food or something. I'm not saying absolutely anything. His stomach appears to be extremely sensitive also to the cooking from my father, uh, my mother. Uh, I somehow don't see myself in it, but that's what mother claimed because the food that I prepared him, we never made one sick. Um, but it was like this that he would tell me to that he was doing Whoa, uh, uh, and I didn't know where the fuck he's gonna die that night, that day, just like you see in films. Uh, I was at a young age, I was, I don't know, I was like 13, 12 years old, uh, and uh, life with him was just, um, at this medical team, all of a sudden he stopped doing this. Uh, uh, uh. When we were alone in the room, he said to me, go see, go see what's going on, go see what's going on, and uh, go see what's going on, go see what's going on, and make sure that, uh, you know, that, that, you are, that, you, that you are worried, basically. And so I went, and I, I saw this physician is really scared the shit out of as I was as a child um, he was then taken to hospital taken care of and stuff but it did made an impression on me that uh, with him next to his other stuff 
I already have spoken about that something was not okay with all this stuff, that he was a simulant, like to say, that he acted oftentimes exaggerated and that he actually really enjoyed in doing this kind of stuff to people, especially to me, to mother maybe, I don't know. Uh, this I think it's important to declare because I feel that at this point in time that things are no different. I think it's the same thing. Uh, today, today is July the 15th, 2022. I brought him, uh, not today, but I got one, a hearing aid. I bought it for myself, three hearing aids. You know, this also is like a little hearing aid here. Uh, so, and this one, it appeared that he wants from me. They're working well. This is just, I don't know, 10, 20 euro hearing aid and his hearing aid costed over $1,000. And I don't think that, I think that with this here, since I have a tremendous problem on my right ear, I can be just as competitive in a workplace as anybody else that I hear well. And I bought this so in case one of those or two go out and I still have a spare one, whatever, three of them, and he got one for good or bad. The thing is that it's not about a hearing aid in this case. It's about everything that went along like this. It was a month probably when he no longer would speak but would instead accumulate a large amount of saliva in his mouth and would just go and just do like uh, play with it in the mouth rather than to spit out uh, it was because I was told because of his stroke symptoms stroke related symptoms um, but it became evident that more than stroke related symptoms the system the government expected I would reach out for his saliva in his mouth and try to free him so that he could speak so that he could not even choke himself on that stuff and that's where the things go really really bad because he developed systematically uh, not with me at all I was always very careful enough I am in general not stupid that I'm gonna walk into something and just go and repeat something even that they rehearsed on that MK Ultra time and again for me to make a mistake uh, with the idea that I'm I would just go and reach out for this saliva I try to force him to spit this out and so on so that he could be easier even that he would not choke with that saliva but it was every time used with uh, acting again it was like again with uh, mm, it was like this and mm, mm, mm. now yeah police director knows that I do use audio recorder and um, it came to me obvious and evident that if I'm going to be using an uh, audio recorder alone, I'm going to get fucked. So I turned on also a video recorder to start to record this shit, which was extremely dis discouraged during MK Ultra. It was when they did, this is exactly rehearsal of MK Ultra, when Andre Ur did, the neighbor, when he played with that shit, uh, it didn't take much before the physician stepped on his ass a nurse and demanded one to remove completely this video recorder and this and that well the thing is that uh if i wouldn't have done stuff like this it would be it would be a suicide for me it would end in a, a rather in a tragedy for me because with those audio recordings uh, it could be interpreted as if I did force one, especially because father was so smart that th this bullshit went on for about a month 
uh, and meanwhile he passed into a state of uh, whatever during which apparently at least when I whenever I was present and I never was with my mother I always was separately he never ever would speak to me my mother also would claim me that he doesn't speak to her then she said that he spoke to her like after one month for the first time I heard after one month that he spoke to her and that day when I came for a visit the, his first words to me were they were not fuck you but basically I wish I wish it was fuck you but the words were it's gain you and you're gonna gain disturb me disrupt me uh, annoy me trouble me basically like torment me in a way when I offered one to have his mouth cleaned uh, no fucking way would I go anywhere even near since anywhere even near since uh, I would stay away and already before this I did turn the camera on and uh, today when I came it was just it, it, it just appeared to me it's gonna be again trouble so what I did was I turned the camera on and I noticed that this thing here which was specially uh, regarded uh, as a precious part and it originally comes with a small um, with a small hearing aid uh, was of greatest interest to everybody MK Ultra. they play with a hearing aid they play with a hearing aid because of my ears uh, because of father's ears and it was interpreted to me as something that must be destroyed to me and it's interesting because this one here it's really easy to fit in your ears the originals that comes with this are not as fine as when it comes with this one you can barely attach one but it works fantastically fine if you manage to do so and it's exactly what it did for my father i took what was made for this one and attached to this one everything to accommodate him and the first thing he did today uh when i offered him a hearing aid it was again the same bullshit however since his hands were not tied on a bed they did this so he wouldn't pull himself tube from the nose that's what they claim he was doing pulling himself a tube from the nose because he refused to eat through the mouths he refused to eat through the mouths so they inserted the tube through the nose to remind me also of what they were doing with me in exactly the bed he is at right now in exactly the same room they were doing exactly that kind of stuff and now they have inserted one through the stomach uh, the feeding tube so that he can also consume if he wants to eat orally through the mouths and so it was interesting when he again would not allow me to you know when he was again doing like this you know you want a hearing aid yeah uh and when you give one uh again what the fuck is this right uh like what the fuck is this i mean what is this shit he is using this stuff since I don't know maybe for the last 20 years or something but really what the fuck is this uh, and after all if I want to give it to him the hearing aid it was like uh, let me have it let me have it you know he gives like give it to me give it to me so I give it to him so now what the fuck is this goes away it's gone he goes straight like an eagle after this piece after this part which is actually made for this hearing aid here <laughs> and starts to molest this with the idea that he's gonna 
damage this stuff that he's gonna get one destroyed so no i took the hearing aid at home because i don't feel that he needs one after all the patient right next to him talked to me about the funeral not that he talked to me about the funeral but the psychiatrist peter kapsch explained to me that the patient that is on the bed right next to father is being used not only on this occasion but also on other occasion and was used with other patients the two patients are all permanent but there were several patients before my father the two patients otherwise are permanent for years already inside of that room but before that before my father it was other patients that would move in and out this man uh, is in the room already for I think five years or seven years or how long uh, since 2015 I think this guy that you're gonna hear that you can also hear in the video pogreb pogreb means funeral funeral uh, yes 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 it goes with the funeral it goes with what my mother told me yesterday in a little bit I'm gonna get to this of course I'm gonna post another video for you to see but psychiatrist cops told me that's very important stuff this guy that is on a bed next to father's bed is completely demented this guy had a stroke whatever he's got uh whatever is going on with him he's completely demented but he has a capacity to hear voices you know? he has a capacity to hear bluetooth related through the speaker through the maybe hearing aid voices he does have a capacity like this capacity the same kind of capacity that appeared sometimes to me was the case with my father psychiatrist cops explained to me that but they talk about some other stuff they talk about very sophisticated stuff that they implant in ears i don't know I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. I have not seen anything like this, but they did spoke to me about the stuff that they implant some kind of Bluetooth device, something like this, or a receptor, whatever it is that is attached inside, whatever, and person can hear. Now, I definitely not go and check the man. Uh, definitely not go and check whether his, the patient, in the bags next to father has got some kind of a, a receptor or something a receiver hearing aid in his ears uh, nor did I have a capacity to check the hearing aids for my father that's what I think more likely was done if really was not something else that was done uh, but that's exactly according to rehearsal of NK Ultra uh, he did this man did exactly exactly the patient on the in the bed right next to father did exactly the stuff they totally totally rehearsed the stuff that was involved in nk ultra including with the jerking off uh his penis private parts when i entered over there inside when i was next to father uh not that he would insult me in any way not that i would be insulted in any way people who participated during mk ultra they expressed the disgust they, they some even demanded for the man uh, to be taken care of during their visits that this was disrespectful and so on and I think they did so for the future reference when I would appear there there never was any anything done to protect my interests or anything like this but they amplify issues through the stuff like this just like they did with destroyed uh, private property and so on uh, and it appears to me because it was a complete repetition from MK Ultra, a rehearsal of MK Ultra brainwash, that the man absolutely, even when he played with his private parts, because otherwise he doesn't. Even that his wife apparently, yes, his wife apparently, when I met wife, his wife during MK Ultra claimed that he. Uh, that he that she put him inside of the mental hospital because of exactly this kind of stuff because he was like sexually hyperactive or whatever and it became annoyance too big for her to handle that that's why she got rid of him 
he did, man, was brave enough to even ask me when I, when I asked him if he needed some help or something to ask me to do some work on him and stuff like this. I think this is the stuff, I am 100% certain, this is the stuff related now to something else. Uh, because it was the funeral, talk about the funeral, and because of the audio that I managed to obtain from my mother yesterday, how uh, it's going to be a city that will repossess this house, uh, something that Mayor Macedoni claimed me it's going to happen for the sake of some kind of equipment related to surveillance that will be removed from the house, um, which later on the story was changed that it will be offered, the house will be offered to exclusive circles as the last time as the last time they will be capable to use one as a, a resort, as a private resort, if they're willing to pay this kind of stuff. Uh, for that kind of stuff, um, I'm going to get this video translated to you. Therefore, how my mother is going to also file for uh, home for elderly people. I'm going to be on my own without a job and the city is going to get a hold of the house for that kind of reason i must say that the man also for that kind of stuff uh somebody was whispering him in his ear something about the funeral because this guy was talking about the funeral pogrep 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 the bo pogrep 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 the funeral was exactly what my father threatened me with next to mother if it's gonna be funeral, you're fucked. It's gonna be the funeral, you're gonna be without the income, you're gonna be without the money. Father was the one who was abusive about the funeral. He was the one who was abusive during MK Ultra. He tortured with the issue of the funeral and then how you're gonna be fucked and then how you're gonna be homeless and stuff like this. How I'm gonna be without the money here uh, inside of this uh house uh hungry without nothing you're gonna hear the audio i'm gonna get one translated from my mother i obtained yesterday and basically this was the visit uh, at my father's place the only thing i did was i collected back my my own hearing aid which i gave one uh his hearing aids he's got hearing aids really sophisticated not like this those are small nice smooth worth each more than thousand dollars and so on mother keeps at home so i figure out for this kind of attitude uh will be the best that the stuff that i order for myself for the purpose of work i just keep to myself fuck it uh will do me better in that case I think also that he hears like an eagle without the hearing aid. It became noticeable, evident on several occasions that man has a capacity to hear even without the hearing aid. So is there like some other device in there, something else? Uh, what's going on? I have no idea other than what I stated to you right here, right there. And I did make sure that I did video recorded this time this stuff i also told the nurse that somehow with what i have seen again and it was always the stuff like this whenever i came uh the message to me is pretty clear pretty evident about what goes on so that's all that's all in respect to this video uh, the videos have uploaded itself and what I can do is I can play one to you here and maybe even get one translated that probably would be great this was recorded today on July 15 of 2012 I hold the hearing aid and I'm asking if he wants because he doesn't allow me to do I offer, let me, can I give you in the ear, let me give you in the ear. But you see that he's extending his hand, he's gonna, he's gonna put one inside of the ear by himself. 
No, he doesn't have a capacity. He doesn't have a capacity. He's lying on the bed already for more than two months. And became weak, became exhausted, became... He's not doing the exercise he should have. Uh, and... But... I think in 100% control of his head. He knows precisely what he's doing. He's acting right there. Well, let me demonstrate this. He's doing this. Right there, he's doing this stuff. I was told if I say something like this, Father the next day is going to be gone. Well, the thing about it is that I got a lot of proofs. To prove what I stated, if he's going to be gone by the next day, it's going to be gone because he's going to be killed. But for everything stated here, I have audio and video recorded proofs. So then it's going to be very difficult for you, if you, in case you want to do something to him, to prove that you have not done something to him with idea, with some other idea, right? Then it's going to be really difficult for you. That's all I'm advising you. So he doesn't allow me. He's looking at stuff like he doesn't know what it is. But you were able to see at the beginning that he knew precisely that this is a hearing aid. So I want you to understand that this is always the way I approach him. Why do I take this kind of approach? I do this kind of approach because whenever I would do this in the past, he would raise hell. And on audio recorder, it would sound, yes, even like this, he would raise hell. On audio recording alone, it would sound like I'm trying to push him, like I try to torment him. As he properly also audio recorded himself by saying to me after one month of what you see here, that I came again and that I tried to put, put him, uh, you know, the hearing aid that, that I am... Uh, or clean his mouth that I tried to disturb him and stuff like this. It's when I took a real precaution, just as I was advised under MK Ultra, and I stood, took two steps backwards, uh, protecting myself first, basically. Listen, I was the one who calmed my mother in respect to the food. Uh, because from beginning he did have whatever they have done or whatever uh, he had a tremendous problem placing his spoon in his mouth and my mother would lose nerves and I always was the one who calmed her down uh, I always was looking forward to approach to him in a humane as possible manner but even like this he found a way Procalculated according to the police instructions to after one month of visits, one not one month of visit, after two two and a half months of visits, uh, paying him a visits, he found eventually he found a way to record himself with a statement that I came again to disturb him and stuff like this, as I stated. <laughs> So I want, I want the confirmation from him to give me either a sign so I can go and give him hearing aid in his ear. That's what I'm looking to. Uh, and since he doesn't allow this, he doesn't allow me this. I give him the hearing aid because he wants the hearing aid. Now he proceeds toward the part that I demonstrated you, a silicon uh, this soft part that is used to insert in your ear and start to torch that stuff. With the idea is going to destroy one. I asked him, what are you doing? Are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Now I see what he is doing and I ask him, so you're playing and then I ask him, so you're going to destroy one? Uh-huh, okay, okay. Nie it's not good, I tell him. Yeah, go ahead, destroy him, then you're going to have nothing, I tell him. Do you remember how my father destroyed in front of me 
the audio recorder that I bought, the audio recorder came from China and I came in the kitchen uh, just to see the father how he, with the knife, how he stabbed the audio recorder. This is my father, all right. This is my father, all right. At this point in time, my father thinks I'm going to go emotional and I'm going to be like, give me, give me the hearing aid or anything like this. But I don't go. I tell him, yeah, you're going to destroy one. You're like, go ahead, go ahead, destroy one. You can see the video about the audio recorder I have posted on a YouTube on this video channels. You can see that stuff. It's when I came one morning and I see father destroying the audio recorder. Uh, I have purchased from China, from AliExpress or eBay. And I look at this and said, this is my audio recorder. And I said, what the fuck are you doing me? And he was just uh, giving me his scenario from MK Ultra about Andrianich, uh, whatever the issue was in his head and continued to destroy one in front of me. And so I let him destroy because this is what he's looked for he looks for some you see that time he was nothing demented and now he is a stroke and demented and this and that you know a police job a classic police job let's continue yeah, go ahead. I tell you. Go ahead. Now, when he does the shit like this, I tell him, you also were the one who walked inside of my room during my absence to destroy my personal belongings. You, I tell him, you were the one. And what I do is, I thank him for doing what he did and i collect the hearing aid he drops one down i collect this hearing aid and i go away that's all there is to it i tell him and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to he take this took home. upon this thing here this is what he wanted to as much as possible destroy this thing here and this thing you can't get because this is from another hearing aid that does not even belong to this hearing aid and I have attached one to him so he could use. So this is a visit of my so father, basically, July the 15th, 2022. That's what this uh, is, basically. Designed by the he is going with me in both things, no more. These are my things. So. Using exactly, exactly the same like tactics this. as before. You're going to hear the man on the next back talk about the population because what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this one more time. And that's exactly what I stated to you. That's what the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch explained me if he'll play with the stuff like this. Because they did play with the stuff like this. I remember it. I recalled and I asked about what, what is this about this shit that one time the guy was talking about this issue that were related to MK Ultra, another time to that issue, and now I'm going to hear something about this issue. The nurse comes, asks okay. me how the father is doing. I think he's doing very good, actually. I think, well, I think you're doing very good as long as you, you know what you're doing. Good done. Uh, 
the way it ended this hearing aid, this this attachment, this this uh, this adapter, this silicon rubber adapter on this hearing aid is because my father apparently has a very sensitive, not only small but very very sensitive ears. So to accommodate my baby, I have to specially take from one to another. As I stated to you, they were doing exactly the same steps during MK Ultra when they were playing with the hearing aids. I was buying exactly the same low-end, cheapest hearing aids they knew with controlled budget I'm going to buy, basically. There was no mystery to who, who how, why, how, and this is there. Uh, nurse asked me if 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 I think I tell well I, you know I, I tell her the one who needs help, right? And she says yes, the one who needs help doesn't behave like this. The one, the person that needs help, assistance does not behave like this. The person who needs help, assistance, I know when I needed one. I did not act in any way. They fucking puncture my heads during the COVID. I don't know how many times. Uh, and I was quiet about it. I was thankful for everything they did. Uh, in this case, nothing really is going on. Nothing, nobody's doing anything to him. Nothing I was trying to do. And I get exactly the type of stuff I already get since the day one. I paid him a visitation to the hospital. He is looking for just about absolutely anything possible that he could use for the police. The police could use against me, basically. Desperate. <laughs> I came walking for my father, uh, always eager to help, but he just uh, always made sure. The neighbor on the bed next to him is talking about the funeral, about the funeral. Yeah, okay. Just to refresh you, the memory I did go and I found here it was posted on This was March 2021. No, not exactly. As a matter of fact, yes, exactly. There it is. Let's make sure this is this recording. 102 father destroyed brand new audio recorder. I'm, I'm sure that you have seen this. He's got a talent to do it his way, ways. And uh, sure enough that you can see one, that's what's left from one, right there. This here. Precisely this here. That's precisely what happened. And he does again his talk, this kind of, this, this, this oh, talk dude. that was... Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go, and he and he repaired it. What the fuck is this, he says. He chopped one with a knife. 
even with the Swiss knife. Ni, ne morem pa ne morem, nikako ne. I kaj, kaj je tu z Andrijanečom imelo veze? Kakšne veze je imelo tu z Andrijanečom? Da, da, kakšne materijale? Ne, ne, v meni si Andrijaneča. Kako? O Andrijaneču si rekel, da je... Kaj je tu imelo z Andrijanečom, da on ni mogel tega popraviti? So, no, you don't want to say anything to happen to your hearing aid. Kaj je vzel? There is no necessity for that. Ki sem mu še jaz te rekel, tu, selo, te je bilo še čist selo. Aha. Čist selo, s tako kotle na tej stran. Mhm. Gladko, ko špego. Dobro, nekaj. Še kaj drugega je? Ampak ni mogel nič narediti. Aha. Pa sem bil pa jaz tam zravn. Aha. Je pa rekel, vsa oči bo, vsa oči bo naredil. Ja, tu je smešna stvar, res. Res je smešna. Vem. V redu. There is nothing else I would say uh, in respect to this video. Former White House physician Ronnie Jackson hasn't been shy in unleashing his thoughts. On I am just going to refer you now to the to the video uh, from my mother. Actually, I'm going to translate the audio. That's an interesting one. A mayor Macedoni claimed that at first they claimed me the house is going to be necessary to go into possession for a year and a half then to the city then for a year then it was reduced to a number of six months first to remove surveillance equipment from the house then the story changed maybe exactly because there is such surveillance equipment in there they talk about antennas they talk they talked about the equipment cemented uh, even uh, betoned, betonated or whatever, cemented that needs to be removed from the house and stuff like this. So, uh, who knows? Is it to offer this to elites? That was the second excuse uh, to give in a short list this to elites that was used as an excuse by a mayor Gregor Macedoni uh, or maybe is it uh, maybe it's for real because the guy is as criminal as he gets the guy is so corrupt that I've not seen a politician a criminal I've not seen a politician as criminal as this okay uh, maybe police director Janez Oppenheim he's exception here the two are a city of Novo Mesto mayor and a police director. Maybe that one is, actually that one is worse. Either of the two, however, are really, really talented, but in a completely wrong sector, in a completely wrong profession, and in a wrong country, because this is not Great Britain here. This is not Britain. Not that I would be proud of, but this is, this is not Britain.